So today we will be, we will see how to use Jamri TBI for uh, reporting and presentation and also even maybe for the data analysis part. Uh, on the previous sessions or lectures, we've been seeing how to use uh, different types of AI tools for our analysis, for writing, for text generation, image generation, and things like that. So it's still going to be that type of session, but we're going to see what specifically generative AIs are and another uh, different tools for you to do the reports and also the to clean or to analyze the data. So from the beginning, let's define what generative AI is. We're all familiar with the word AI, but what makes it different when we bring the word generative in front? So it's still a type of AI technology that can produce various types of contents like text, imagery, audio, and etc. So as we can understand from Demi, it's going to generate something depending on our prompt or our questions, okay? Uh, so the reason based around generative AI has been driven by the simplicity of new user new user, user interface for creating high quality text, yeah. So better than to write or to write the text or the, write the report or the content by ourselves, then we're going to use generative AI, AI tools that will generate the thing that we wanted to generate, okay? And not only that, the graphics, the videos, somehow we're familiar with the concept, but that is, we don't need to get confused when, you, when we're going to use the word generating. So there are uh, different types of gen AI tools. As we've mentioned, it can be, it's, uh, we can generate texts and also the image, right? So there are the text generation tools, also the image generation tools. The examples that are mentioned here, they are kind of, uh, they're not kind of, actually, they're definitely kind of, they're definitely, um, not for free, but like GPT-4 in, in Jasper, for example, when we have when we think about GPT-4, if GPT-4 is not free, then we uh, the 3.5 is free. Like we're using the 3.5, you know. So the image generation tools like Dali and Midjourney, they are famous for the image they generate, like the quality of the image that they generate. But also, they don't come for free. So. Um, it's really nice to pay for them and to use them, but we need to auto search or use it to start our free, right? So there are this, oh, this are the text generation that are free, which you all are mostly uh, familiar with. We have seen about Poi last time, and so they are, we don't even need to mention Gork because we can uh, use Poi in order to access Gork and other LA names through their APIs. So on for the image generation, there is the page called Crayon and the Having Face. We're going to see an example while generating in both of the platforms. So those are the image generation. We can use the image generation uh, part by using those pages for free. In content generation, of course, like after uh, creating, uh, after having an idea for the report or what the structure of the report would be and the, the inside things or the definitions and things, we can create part of the report or like maybe the body or the summary through using generative AIs. Well, we need to mention this as maybe sometimes in your report, we can, we, we usually see uh, contents or uh, reports that are definitely, that are all generated by uh, AI tool and they're not edited very well, okay? So that's not the point of using Gen AI. We need to add the idea. We're going to write all the ideas in our prompt, and uh, then we can use the output. So it needs to be edited and really structured. And also for the analysis, data analysis and summarization part, since uh, the report, a report from uh, uh, from a report that depends in data, it needs to pass through the data analysis and cleaning the like the like we have mentioned on the earlier on Monday. Right, so we we can also use AI tools for those things for data analysis and uh, I mean for data analysis and cleaning and also summarizations. Uh, so in summarization part, uh, as you all remember, also we have we've seen the method of like giving a data, giving a PDF or like a note for an AI tool or the ChatGPT example, and having a summary about that report. Right, so also we need to have. We, we, we can use uh, a tool that we, we're going to give uh, a Google Sheets or any platform that contains a data. 
and then see the summarization of about the data in order to understand what the data structure is also in order to have some analysis and again the other thing that we might use ai for is for clarity and readability of our reports which is grammarly we've seen grammarly before too uh, yeah here is the link and with grammarly it's uh, also an extension as the other forms using this so we can it's going to edit every notes and every grammars that we put inside uh, uh, while writing, if we collaborate it with uh, with Google or Chrome, then it's going to edit or it's going to give us an extension or uh, another uh, preference for every writings or uh, yeah writings that we're going to put inside using that uh, Google okay. So let's just go to the demonstration part. Why uh, the first thing is the, Im the image generation, as we've said. So this is Cryan. This is going to be simple. So going to Cryan, taking this page, we can just put while also generating uh, an image. Actually, in general, while using generative AI, it's going to generate something or an output depending on our input, right? It might be generating image or text depending on our input. Sometimes our input might be words or also it can be mm, another image there is a tool some tools called image to image and things like that but in this case we're going to see changing the our prompt or not to um, image okay uh, so we can choose from the arts photos drawing and things like that so let's go with art for the first piece maybe in our in this week's analysis we might need to see we might need to uh, want to include a food or a uh, groceries or food or collection of food. Since we're going to consider the cost of foods in different cities, let's just con uh, consider including that image. Any tweet or any market we can see. Actually, or is not a good thing, right? Any, any market. So trying to draw it might take some time. It will definitely take some time. So while we're drawing this, let's we can also wait, but let's also go to the another page, the hugging face page. Still drawing. Let's just give it time, yeah. Let's just give it uh, give it time for this. We're expecting an image that contains food or uh, types of foods actually in the market. I'm trying to relate it with the, this. Okay. So yeah, we can have the, this output. It seems like a market somehow. It, yeah, yeah, it definitely looks like a market. So we can use those types of uh, images and we can take or copy those images. Here, okay. So we can use this AI tool for the image part okay impressive <laughs> we, we, we're going to have one after finishing the session so yeah the other part is uh, this is the first thing that we uh, the first part that we've seen is the cry on image generator it's for free it's really i mean the daily in the mid journey they can create different and like, amazing images and they're not free the other one is hacking face hacking face it's also a very powerful page just going to this link you can you will find this page and you need to sign up for since you're, if you are a new user you need to sign up it's not that hard it's easy and after that you can come to this page this uh, searching bar and it's um, so like what is hugging face hugging face generally contain it's somehow used by technical people it's a page that contains many types of different types of models I used to generate image, text, different types of models. Okay, now we're using like ChatGPT or uh, Grok or another models or LLMs as we've mentioned in the first week of this training, if you're if you remember. So it contains different models that are used to build different types of uh, 
Theta is like the judge quickly broken and things okay. Since the main point is the model. So here we can get the models, those models directly, uh, even if they don't have some platform or some UI pl platform. So we cannot use them in our PC since they don't have any platform that, that are hosted that they are hosted on, but we can use them here. So here is clicking on this, you can see that those are different types of models. We can also get data sets like as if we want data for some type of analysis, we can get data here and the model zero okay? You might be familiar with Llama. I have uh, mentioned, we, we've seen about Poi last week, right? In Poi, you can find, okay, let's see. We've seen about Poi last week, okay. I, I can, I think I can use Poi if I have signed up. So I'm trying to see you, uh, to, to take you through the different types of models that we have now and that we can use okay so here those are also different types of uh, models okay hey hey um, how many continents So here we can get, uh, we can send this question for those different types of um, models and we can compare our, our answers with them, okay? So the all the models that we see here are type of different types of models. So yeah, that's just to show you that we have different models or different uh, LLMs, large language models to use. Keeping that in mind, what was the, what I was trying to demonstrate is, yeah, one of them is Lama, exactly, I forgot. Haven't you seen Lama yeah, mentioned on the, on okay, the models that are mentioned here, they're going to be Lama or uh, Mistral or those types of models. So you can find all, for example, Mistral. You can find the model here and we can interact with the model directly here. For this case, let's try to uh, generate an image again. And there is a stable diffusion which is a very powerful uh, model for image generation, stable diffusion. Let's get to the first one. So here, in this platform, those pictures that you can see are AI generated and we can put our prompt here. So generate an image of maybe African mother. Okay, it says that I am not logged in, but I am logged in in this page. Also, yeah. So like it's computing. You can see that it's loading. Okay, it's pretty. African mother or woman, I don't know, but yeah, let's try for the problem. Yeah. So the more clear prompt that we have input, that we put, the more clear and precise and descriptive uh, prompt that we put, the more descriptive and quality picture that we will be taking. Definitely an African father. Okay. So yeah, we can, this is the second platform to you and you can just copy this image okay for you to save you save the image or copy this image you can use them as our own tool so those are some of the tools that we can use for free in order to generate image okay so uh, on content generation as we have mentioned earlier we can generate some parts of the, our content and we've been seeing about those types of things lately that's why writing the prompt and extracting some information from uh, the notes. So maybe for the data analysis and summarization part, uh, let's just cover two uh, platforms, the Power Tool and Julius. Julius is uh, totally an AI tool, but Power Tool, it's not 100% AI tool. It's just uh, an aid sometimes I need for, the, for our uh, data analysis in Google Sheet. So here I have some data. It's written in Amharic actually. 
but never mind and i have just you, you can just go to this page or this link and install the power the power tool okay after installing them it will uh, let's try, let's try to install them here too you know just choose an email account and it's an easy process at the end it's going to be uh it's an extension in your google Sheets. it's not a, it's not an application or it will by itself okay and there's something here oh you guys are chatting with each other <laughs> so uh yeah, after uh, installing the power tool, we can um, find it inside the extension, maybe on the morning session. We we were having women session, by the way. And yes, you were asking for maybe if there is some tools that we can use for data analysis, but if, if we have a bigger data for the data analysis or something like that. So we have been seeing different types of tools and AI tools. Also, we can use this. Okay, after installing power tools, I can get it on the extension part. Here is the power tool. And I can go to the quick, the, I can just start here. Okay, so yeah, here it's after starting the power tools, we have the different functions or functionality of the tool here. And you can, depending on your uh, aim or on your uh, on your project you can use different parts of it let's go with the start and the quick action to well, what is found basically it's the same thing okay we're not if we're not going to go with the start pass it's not going to be displayed here but we can use the quick action part also we're going to have to get the same functionality with the starts button so in the quick action we got the change case the apply function that please remove so maybe the things that that concern us I am dead sure that you guys were uh, you were going to be so glad for if you have those uh, if we were able to remove the blanks and things on the first uh, days of this week, but still, um, it's still in quick actions remove blanks, and in the remove blanks we got the remove all empty rows, remove all empty columns, and things like that. So I think that this data is almost. Um, it doesn't have any empty rows, so let's just create one. I'm trying to reach to the last. Yeah. Okay. Here, let's create. Let's try to create two or three. Okay, three empty cells. Okay, empty rows. So let's go to. We need to select all the data or the data that we want to include on the analysis part. So like clicking all the data and extension power tools. On the quick action, the remove blanks, in, uh, remove all empty rows. So it's working and then uh, it's removed. It's not even changed. The index is not changed so that you can know there are some data which are deleted over here, right? The index of the data, I mean the first row of the data contains the numbers and there. Uh, so the three rows are deleted. We can do the same for the columns. Hello, or maybe let's say I have written some um, home, home in small letter and I need to capitalize the first letter of this. And this is easy, I know, but like imagine if you have a, a lot of data like this and we want to make them or we want to capitalize them, we can go to the extension and do all tools, quick action change key capitalize each word and it's working on it it's yeah it is capitalized so each word like if we have different words or many words it's going to do the same for every selected words that means so you can you you need to go 
through it and search for different types of functionality of the Power AI to look in. Let's get back to here and the next one is uh, Julius. Is it, uh, Julius, depending on our data, actually, it's preferable if the data is small. It will give to our data or the data and give us some generalization of the data. Let's go to the, this page. Also, you need to start the chat. It will ask you to, yeah, after putting your chats here, after, yeah, you need to put your email address and you need to verify it. I've already done that on my another email here. So this is the platform. It seems like chat GPT, right? So we can, on the new chat, maybe, I have tried the previous code. I mean, the previous uh, spreadsheet. Let's create new chats and let's see the functionality. Uh, clicking this button, same as chat GPT, we can attach another file or PDF documents here, right? We're going to attach. What is the difference here? We can attach Google Sheets with this with using the link key. Okay? So in Google Sheets, we can uh, input this data, but it's this one is um, high, so I feel like it might have some difficulty going through the data. So maybe this one. Let's attach this one. Actually, it's a uh, SQL tracker, so we know it's not that difficult to see the column. So that in order to communicate our AI, to communicate with our AI to uh, example. Let's see. Commit. You need to give it time at least. Okay, it's loaded here. So let's ask about the summary. Okay, go through the about the. Above the data and tell me what the data is about. So the different thing is that it tries to, uh, here you can see there is a code, right? It's a Python code, it's the file paths. Since we have named it an example, you don't need to worry about it, but it will try to change our question uh, to a code, okay? That's how it works. So the Excel file contains two sheets, it says. What is that two sheets? Tracker and sheet two. Here are the first rows of each. So it's displaying all the rows here. I am ready, Kuma, and unnamed. We can just compare this data to the output and should do. The tracker should seem to have some initial row that are not part of the actual data, and the should two appears to have different structure. Let's clean up the headers. A log of coding, problem solving, including details such as the problem name, difficulty, tax, time, things, and it's going through the columns of the data here. It seems to have columns named columns and index data. So yeah, I'm going, going through all the data as well. Uh, type, so it's, this data is all about, um, it's uh, just registered the time span to, to solve some codes and things like that, okay? So where is this? It just gave, gave us some summary about the data before going through every detail of the data we have uh, a summary or an idea about the data or like a sample of uh, a sample of the data this data is small actually even if we've loaded the data, the tifa data we can do that actually i've tried that let's go to the and let's see if loading yeah going through all the data this data is uh, very large it goes through every column and the first few uh, it should a general observation. Let's give us some of the observations. If it seems that there was an issue, yeah, it might have. So the, the more the data is clean and clear, it's easier for the AI tool to understand. Okay. Even if the data was too long, it helps or it tried to give us some portion or part of the data. 
Okay, so we can use the uh, Julius in order to see the um, in order to see the summary and the structure of our data in a, a simple means. Okay, so again, it's the same thing. It, we can attach a file and the Google should think here. So you, you can use the different uh, settings here mentioned, like the how to videos, how to use it, it's just how to use it. It's going to co consider all the main things, the basic things. So you, you can go through, also try to draw some graphs, depending on your count and understanding of the data, the clean data, if you have a clean, a clean and structured data, try to have some histograms and after understanding your own data actually try to draw some histograms and graphs or visualizations using the same uh, platform Julius okay and finally it's the there's the enhancing clarity and readability after writing the report and after having some graphs and structures and understanding of uh, the structure we can use Grammarly we have seen Grammarly before just to clear and to point out it to the to have a readable report and um, summary, okay. So that's it for integrating different types of all these different types of AI tools and then AI tools. So you can generate a good report, or you, you need to generate a good report and summary about uh, everything and in this condition for your uh, presentations or for your final submission. Thank you, guys. It's this is the. This is all. Thank you, thank you, Ashi. If you have any question. Okay, get here. How am I going to get the food? <laughs> I'm going to take a screenshot and I'm going to save the image and it's there. No worries. <laughs> okay, okay, thanks. Another question? Anyone? No, he's okay. Uh, this is really amazing. Uh, the, what my question is, I think on reporting part, there are some issues which are can we prepare a slide for just reporting as a pdf document the first question is this okay is there a second question and uh, on reporting uh, during reporting uh, all the from uh, starting from task one up to task one uh, for our, can we report again or just okay honestly i'm about to go through your documents for the final submission it says the final submission requires to send size their full project work okay showcasing their ability to use ai tools and to accelerate so yeah it's it seems like you don't need to put every detail about task one and task two on your report uh, function but you need to go through them Okay, you just need what we have done through the, since you're going to put the process after all, you might not be supposed to put every details, but you need to cover them somehow so that it's going to be full projects. Your in-clean submission is about showing the, pro the progress and how you're working on, whether you're working on the projects or not, okay? But the full presentation or the final presentation in, in, in its contained all, all the things, but you might not be, Worrying about everything, every task one and task two as you have worried on the interim, on the interim submission. Okay. How about uh, slide preparation? It doesn't say slide, right? Yeah. yeah. I it's think uh, task four. Yeah, in task four, yeah. it says the reporting yeah. PDF format. <laughs> Uh, developing a slide but on the final submission scenario there is no recommendation about slide preparation uh, where, where have you find 
Okay, he's talking about page nine. Page nine. Page nine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay reporting in community. Develop a project report. Develop a slide deck to accompany the report. Mm -hmm. Effective presentation with Google Slides. Integrate data research. I get it. Okay. I get your questions, are right. Mm. So oh, every it seems like in task four you need to include the you need to work on the slide and on the final submission we need a PDA format too. The final submission. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I get your question. So now we can consider like we need to make a slide for task four and of course we need the overall uh, recommendation or the overall process for the finance initial report but and reporting communication so i don't think we're going to you're going to do two papers okay it's going to be the slide only that's my uh, understanding it's since task four is talking about even if it is in the form of slide it's going it's talking about all the findings from task one to the last one so yeah just focus on the slide but if there's an update or if i heard I'm going to ask if there is, if they are, if it is said that you need to include a PDA format, which I am uh, kind of sure that it's not going to be like that. But for now, just work on the slide. That's a good question, Zarfai. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Another question? Yeah, I get it. Okay. Okay, uh, mine is concerning the tools that uh, we have just learned. Uh, okay, I, I just feel that uh, those tools are too much to understand within one session. So maybe as you'll be preparing uh, next contents, maybe for week 8, 9, 10, uh, up to 12, you consider maybe uh, some places where we will need to reuse the tools eh? uh, because and they are too much to be understood in one session, actually. That's my opinion. Thank you. Okay, so if I get your point right, it sounds like uh, we cannot use every tool for one project. Is that the point? Is it? Yeah, yeah, that's the point. Yeah, yeah. So these are just a starting point. Okay, you can you need to search by yourself, and there are different types of tools. And at the end of the day, you're going to use specific tools and. Uh, that goes with your project or that goes with the thing that you're doing. So yeah, it's not enough to use every uh, every uh, uh, tool. So the point is, if you have, if you need something, if you need to enhance something, you're going to go to the AI tools and use one of them. And um, yeah, okay. So I'm just wondering uh, if if it would be nice if you can include what type of AI tools that you have used or what type of tools generally that you have used while doing your report on the on your report, okay? I will recommend that. Okay, thank you. If there is no other question, yeah. Other question? You can get food for us. This is for you, Peter. Another question? <laughs> Okay, thank you everyone for being here. Yeah, um, have a good day. See you next week. Eh?